Xin chào mọi người, à, rất vui vị quay trở lại với mọi người trong livestream lần này Và hôm nay thì chúng ta sẽ cùng nhau nói về chủ đề Một số thủ thuật đơn giản để bắt đầu với ứng tấu tra Bino Và hôm nay thì chúng ta cũng có một vị khách mời đặc biệt Đó là nghệ sĩ uh, nhạc tra Plant Rose Thì uh, hôm nay thì trước khi mà mình uh, mời uh, Plant uh, tới với uh, buổi uh, phỏng vấn trực tiếp ngày hôm nay thì mình sẽ giới thiệu một chút về Clan. Uh, Clan là một nghệ sĩ nhạc cha và ông có uh, hơn 40 năm trong kinh uh, trong uh, trong lĩnh vực chơi nhạc cha ở trên piano cũng như là trên uh, đàn guitar và đàn ukulele. Hiện tại Clan có một website về uh, dạy và học nhạc cha. Uh, các bạn có thể uh, xem một số những video mà ông dạy nhạc cha tại uh, được link này <cười> thì mình sẽ gửi ở trên uh, ở dưới phần comment ha ok và bên cạnh đó thì uh, clan còn là một nghệ sĩ Uh, biểu diễn tự do ông uh, dành uh, tuổi thanh xuân của mình để đi lưu diễn khắp các uh, nước tại châu Âu và một khoảng thời gian gần đây thì uh, Len đã đến một số những uh, quốc gia tại châu Á để thực hiện những cái show nho nhỏ cũng như là những buổi masterclass của ông uh, trong một lần uh, tình cờ khi mình còn học tại nhạc viện và khi mình qua cơ sở 2 ở Lý Tự Trọng thì mình đã gặp Clan chơi piano tại chỗ mà đăng ký tuyển sinh ở cơ sở 2 Thì lúc đó mình có khen, mình có vô tình khen là Clan chơi đàn quá hay Lúc đó là mình nhớ lên chơi bản Team Road 2 của Chopin Thì lúc đó thì tụi mình bắt chuyện với nhau Và lúc đó là mình cũng phát hiện là Uh, Glenn là một nghệ sĩ nghề chơi nhạc cha và mình thì lúc đó cũng rất là thích chơi nhạc cha mặc dù chưa biết gì về cha cả và hôm nay thì mình có cơ hội uh, mời Glenn uh, tham dự buổi uh, chia sẻ về uh, cách uh, có thể chơi ứng tấu nhạc cha uh, cách đơn giản uh, mọi người có thể uh, uh, xem cũng như là uh, đặt một số những câu hỏi Uh, với clan và mình sẽ cố gắng hỗ trợ giúp mọi người uh, phiên dịch tốt nhất có thể và hôm nay thì clan cũng uh, sẽ uh, thực hiện những cái ví dụ ở trên đàn và mình cũng sẽ cố gắng để thực hiện một số những cái ví dụ về improvise là ứng tấu ở trên đàn piano thì như các bạn nhìn thấy là mình cũng có một cái um, mình đang ngồi kế bên cái đàn của mình thì mình hy vọng rằng là buổi livestream ngày hôm nay sẽ giúp cho các bạn uh, có thật là nhiều những nội dung hữu ích về chủ đề ứng tấu tra Ok à, Và Clan nhắn tin cho mình rằng là à, ông ấy rất là nóng lòng muốn được à, đến với mọi người rồi Ok Clan I invite you now Ok, xin chào mọi người nha Hiện tại à, Hàn Quốc là 1 giờ, 1 giờ 4 phút Và chắc là Việt Nam là 11 giờ đúng không ạ? Ok Xin chào bạn Giang Hi clan, you here? Are you here clan? Thì um, trong lúc chúng ta đợi clan đó thì uh, tụi mình sẽ nói chuyện một chút xíu. 
Mình rất là mê nhạc của Clan mỗi khi mà mình nhìn thấy ông ấy chơi đàn à, Vừa chơi và vừa hát nhạc cha thì rất là lãng mạn Mình rất may mắn khi mà được làm bạn với với lại nghệ sĩ Clan Rose Ok Clan à, Clan, what is the device that you you watch a live stream now? Okay, good. Now you ready? I will bring you up to the screen. Okay, good. Wait. Wait. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay, there you How are. How are you doing? I'm doing okay here in Phnom Penh. You're so far away in Korea. Yes. What, what time is it in Phnom Penh? It's 11 <coughs> o'clock, just after 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah, time it's the same. You? What time uh, for you? It's, it's, it's uh, 1, 1, 1 p.m. in South 1. Korea. Okay. I have my uh, some students writing to me from New York, and they're nice. saying midnight, midnight now in New York. All right. Okay, yeah. so... First, I want to say thank you because you accepted my invitation to yeah. have this live stream to spend this time with me, with the Vietnamese musician. Yeah. And, and right. so uh, th this live stream is a part of the, the, the project. Teach for Drove project is a project for piano, Vietnamese piano teacher. And this okay. is non profit project. So. Uh, I'm very embraced what you what you're doing for us. Wonderful. Thank you, Nyan. Let me explain something for my students that watch that you are from Vietnam and that's where we met. We met in Saigon, of course. And then yeah, 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 yeah. And give a lecture at the conservatory there. But now you live in Korea, just so they don't think you're Korean, they understand you're from Vietnam. Oh yes, please go ahead. Yes. Okay. And you teach, oh. you, you teach Korean students? You're in Korea. Uh, yeah, I used to teach them, but now I, I have foreigner students. Like with the, the foreigner kids, they from another country. They go along with their parents. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see, I see. Yeah, but they're speaking English in Korea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we, you... we, we communicate with English. Yeah. <laughs> I see, yeah. <laughs> but I, I will see. learn, I think I will learn, I will learn Korean soon. I love this country. I love the yeah, scenery. Wonderful. Have you visited here yet? I've been, you ask if I've been there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, South yeah. Korea. I did a jazz workshop uh, there for one week. I was in Korea doing a jazz workshop maybe four years ago. I really All enjoyed right. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I like it a lot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes sometime the nature, you know, it's inspiring, it inspires me to compose music. <laughs> sometimes like that. <laughs> yeah, I've, heard, I've see, heard some things that you send me. It's so nice. Really nice. Okay. So, okay. um do you think it's okay if we just sometimes we interrupt and I translate to Vietnamese a little bit? Of course. Yeah. We'll make sure that they understand. Okay, yeah. mọi người ơi thì uh, nãy giờ là tụi mình uh, uh, có chào hỏi nhau và có hỏi thăm nhau về giờ giấc thì hiện tại uh, clan đang ở Nam Ben và đang là 11 giờ. Nam Ben uh, ở Campuchia đang là 11 giờ và mình thì um, cũng nói là mình đang ở Hàn Quốc và đang là 1 giờ trưa. Và tụi mình cũng có uh, uh, nói qua về cái uh, cái cuộc sống ở Hàn Quốc như thế nào Vì thì uh, Clan cũng có uh, đến uh, Hàn Quốc và làm một cái master class trong khoảng một tuần tại Hàn Quốc về cha So you, you did a master class in, in, in South Korea like four years ago? Yes, about four years ago. Yes, mm -hmm. it was a five day class I think, five days. Wow. I, yeah, I wish definitely. I was here. I, I wish I was here like 
earlier a little bit so I could join your master class. Yeah, well, next time. <laughs> we have so, we have so. Yes. yes. Okay. Rồi thì um, cách đây 4 năm thì Glenn có đến uh, Hàn Quốc và làm uh, một cái buổi uh, master class về nhạc cha. Uh, thì mình cũng có nói là mình hy vọng, mình ước là mình đã ở đây 4 năm về trước để mà có thể tham dự buổi master class với ông. Okay, Glenn. So, yes. are you are you ready uh, for So, what what are you going to share with us today, Glenn? I don't know. Good question. You'll have to ask me. Whatever you want to ask me, we'll talk about. Okay. Uh, you know, like, I I always interest in improvising, like cha improvising or any kind of improvising is, is good for me. But I know that you are so good at improvising, uh-huh. at cha improvising, like, I am in love with your music. <laughs> wow, thank you. Yes. So, Every time yeah. I see you, I, every time I see you playing uh, cha and you're singing, yes, it, I, f- I feel like if I were like, <laughs> if I were in your age, I might fall in love with you. I mean. <laughs> oh, boy, okay. I'm going to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> It's well, very romantic, like your voice. Wow, oh, thank you. Yes, thank okay. you. So, I try to be you share... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, let me, I'll turn the camera around and put it on the keyboard. And uh, okay. why don't I start by just playing something? Let me play a short piece or something. Yeah, please. Okay. Okay. And I'll just, what I'll do is I'll play, um, I'll play a standard, a regular jazz standard. Mm. And then I'll just improvise a little and finish it. So it may take a few minutes. Okay. So uh, we will, I will just post the video. I mean... Uh, no, keep the video running. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, go I'll ahead. On camera. I'll just play something short on the camera. Yeah. Let me get it Thank you. up here. Okay, I will translate a little bit. Thì uh, yeah. mình có nói với ông rằng là uh, mình rất là thích nghe nhạc của ông, uh, rất là thích nghe ông biểu diễn và nghe ông hát. Và um, ông hỏi là uh, hôm nay thì uh, chúng ta sẽ nói về chủ đề gì? Uh, mình nghĩ là một câu hỏi đùa thôi bởi vì chúng mình đã thống nhất với nhau về chủ đề đó là uống tấu trên 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 dàn cha rồi thì um, uh, mình cũng có nói uh, mình cũng có chia sẻ là mình rất là, là thích nhạc của ông ấy nếu như mà mình ở vào cái tuổi của ông vào cái thời kỳ đó thì có thể là mình sẽ cảm mến ông khi mà mình nghe ông chơi đàn ok bây giờ thì chúng ta sẽ nghe một chút nha sau đó chúng ta sẽ nghe xem là Glenn sẽ chia sẻ gì hôm nay Here I'll play Misty, everybody's favorite Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you. I can I can hear the cheering everywhere. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> It's just funny like okay. that. Okay. It's yeah. melt my heart. It's melt my heart. Uh, uh, thì cái bản mà cái bản mà Lan vừa mới chơi đó là một bản Misty rất là nổi tiếng nhạc cha. À uh, okay, so Clan, uh, yeah. I don't I don't know like how hard I work until I can be So good, like you. Uh, thank you. Thank I you. Such, 
Yeah, I, I see, you know, when I watch you improvise and you're, you're so graceful and you make up such beautiful, sensitive music. But what I see mostly, I want to say, is that uh, I see you uh, hovering in one key most of the time. Mm. So you'll be in the key of D or G or wherever you are. And yeah. you're there most of the time, or maybe you change a little. But with uh, standards, when you're playing jazz, we're changing keys all the time. Uh, mm. So every times only um, we'll have maybe four beats or eight beats, maybe 12 beats in one key, and then move on to the next key. And that creates that melodic, mm -hmm. such a great melodicness. So the mm -hmm. secret is to be very good in all 12 keys. So that's your homework. <laughs> My homework? Yes. <laughs> that's everybody's <laughs> homework. You have to, um, whatever you okay, can do in uh, one, one key, you want to do in all keys. Yeah. Okay, so please repeat again. Um, what, what did you say about homework? you say again, my Wi-Fi just cut out a little bit. What was that? Mm, okay. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I heard you say um, um, something about, like, I should be, I should be master in trail keys. Yes. yes. Right? That's the, this is what we strive for. Yes. So you can play all of your scales easily in 12 keys, of course but manipulate them in so many ways. So just like in C, if you've got here, you know, I'm gonna play a C scale, I'll play a C chord. So I got the scale, but I wanna be able to create things like you do. Now I wanna be able to do the same thing and say E flat. So you can be creative in any key, or D, D flat. So okay, be okay. Flexible, flexible in all your keys. Whatever you can do in <laughs> one, you should be able to do something similar in all the others. <laughs> okay, so okay, let's I translate a little bit. Thì mình có hỏi, mình có, Len có nói là. Um, để mà improvise được á, thì uh, chúng ta nên gọi là master có nghĩa là phải rành hết cả 12 cái giọng, 12 cái keys á, 12 cái 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 cái, cái tone á về cái uh, những cái dấu hóa hóa biểu của nó rồi những cái hợp âm của nó. Ý của ông ấy là như vậy. Anyway, clan. Clan. Yes. Yes. So how about if we like So, like, according to your opinion, like, if the beginner, like, or, or immediate aid uh, pianist, they want to improvise mm -hmm. something, they or they do have to master in trail keys. This is like the, how to start. Yes, how to how, how, for that. How, how, how to how start to, to how, how to start to do uh, like the easy and quick uh, tricks for improvising jazz. Do we have any? Is it? Is it trick? Yeah, Glenn. I think I think the internet is not good. Oh, oh I'm getting up. <laughs> Ok mọi người ơi, uh, hơi ổn một chút bởi vì uh, internet ở bên phía của clan thì uh, không có được tốt. Nên là mình rất là khó nghe ông ấy nói. Oh, the wifi got flaky. Are we good again? Okay. Are we good again, you think? Mm, ok. I think we're on. Okay, I hope so. Okay, so what it look? Okay. Oh. Oops. 
internet ở bên chỗ clan có vẻ hơi 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 bất ổn một chút clan I think the internet is not good à ok mọi người ơi à mình đã tạm dừng cái video bên chỗ clan à, hy vọng rằng là à, ông ấy sẽ tìm được một cái một vị, vị trí địa điểm thật là phù hợp hơn để thực hiện lại à, livestream hiện tại mình thấy là livestream ở bên chỗ clan thì à, tín hiệu khá không có tốt không có tốt lắm Ô mọi người xem livestream đông quá à. À. <cười> okay, so clan, are you here? If you with us, please comment something. I will invite you to the screen. Mình hy vọng rằng là internet của bên clan đã có thể ổn hơn. Mọi người đợi một chút nha. All right, I will touch him. I will touch you. Let's see. Okay, sure, sure. Okay, sure. Okay, I think this comment is is uh, from laptop because I don't see the rain button. Okay. Okay, I will try to, I will try on my laptop. Okay, please come back with us if you have, if you have good internet, please come back with us. Okay. Okay, phone. Okay, right. Nice. Okay. Okay, hi Sina. I will chat I will chat him. I will chat him now. No worries. All right. Sure. I'm inviting you. I'm inviting you. Aha! What do you think? We're there. Very good. Okay. Back again. But, uh, so internet will be better, you think? Uh, we can hope. We can only hope. Because I'm in a hotel. You know, I'm in a, uh, a nice hotel here, but the Wi-Fi comes and goes. Mm -hmm. We hope for the best. That's all we can do. We hope. Wrong way. This way. Okay. So that was Sheena who wrote to you. She's in Bali. Oh, she nice. Yeah, okay. she's having a vacation with her husband there. She helps me All with right. everything on my business now. Okay. Okay, so I think I share. Okay, I share we were talking the, about playing in the uh, live different stream. keys. 
Yeah. Yeah. Want me to talk about that a little bit? Uh, I think um, like like our topic today is about the symbol trick to mm-hmm. yeah okay. improvise with chat. So let's maybe we could you know narrow down the the topic that way. Yeah. Um, well, everything comes with the major scale. It's, the idea is to start with the major scales and uh, be creative with the scales. Are you hearing me okay now? Yes, very clear. Oh, okay, good, good. So the idea is um, to pick a scale you want to work in. And everybody works in C, so I think you, everybody should yeah. not work. Get away from C. C is too easy to blend. So take another key <laughs> like, yeah, everybody can do C. So get into another key like D. You can just play a D chord if uh, a regular D triad. Uh, the, the that major, D minor, right? Uh, D major. Okay, D major. Yeah, and you've got... And the yes. idea now would be to be creative with your in your right hand. And your left hand, hold a chord or just hold a note, a D note. And the idea, what I like to say is uh, make it like your right hand is playing like a flute mm-hmm. or a, sing- a single note instrument, a violin, a flute, a trumpet, something. So you, 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 really, you can feel that this is a speaking voice in your right hand all by itself. You don't even need your left hand, really. You can, you've got this note, these notes in the major scale, in this case, D, mm. and, and you can be, do anything in those notes. It's, it's, I want to say as if you're playing a flute, so you can... Uh, Strike any of them. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so you, you can play them in any order, any random order if you like. So I'll just I'll go like. So I'm only using notes from the scale. All right. So not to play the scale up and down, but be creative and make up melodies. Spontaneous okay. using, yeah. Mm-hmm. Can I try? Yes, please. Okay. So, like, my, my, my left hand should not play anything, right? Just right oh, hand. Oh, you right? can't. Yeah, just right hand. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay, let's, let's try something. Okay. Is it oh, that's okay? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Keith. <laughs> You're welcome. And in, I think okay. something important to know, there's, there's two ways you can use the scale. Or do you want to say something? That's, you know, or... Hello? Okay. Hello, hello. Are you there, Nan? Oh. Hello? Okay. Hello? Yes. Okay. I, I, yeah, I got you back. Okay. So let I, okay. I translate a little bit. Okay. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Thì, yeah. Okay, bác. Thì mình có hỏi, nãy giờ là Len với mình đang nói về một cái vấn đề đó là tụi mình nói về một cái cách để mà chúng ta có thể bắt đầu cái livestream. À, xin lỗi. <cười> cái, cái ứng tấu đó là các bạn có thể bắt đầu với cái scale nên là ví dụ như ông ấy đang ví dụ về cái scale D major. That's a D major scale, right? Mình nghĩ rằng là hồi nãy ông ấy đang nói về cái D major scale á thì ông có nói là à, chúng ta có thể chơi bất cứ một cái uh, thứ tự có nghĩa là bất cứ cái 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 uh, cái thứ tự nào cũng được miễn sao là miễn sao là cái nốt của nó nằm trong cái cái scale đó là D major. Thì hồi nãy là mình có chơi thử Mình nghĩ là internet quá yếu Clan Clan are you here? Are still here? Why, why, why I don't see your video?
be, because what I what what I see now is just the the the, the piano. Nobody plays it. Mình mình nghĩ là internet quá yếu. Bên bên phía clan á, internet rất là yếu. Clan. I think I I will I will just stop your video now and maybe you could go back again. Okay? À. Uh, thật là tiếc luôn á. Mình rất là tiếc bởi vì uh, um, bên phía uh, bên phía internet của 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 Lan á, hiện tại là đang ở Campuchia, đang ở Ngô Minh khá là yếu. Mình cũng không có um, xem được uh, hình ảnh rõ nữa. Nên là đợi chút xíu hay chúng ta sẽ bắt lại tín hiệu của ông ấy. Xin lỗi mọi người rất nhiều nha. Okay. <cười> ok thì uh, trong lúc mình chờ đợi clan quay lại đó thì uh, hồi nãy chúng mình có nói với nhau về uh, một cái um, à, một cái một cái một cái một cái tip đơn giản mà chúng ta có thể bắt đầu trong việc ứng tấu đó là các bạn uh, sử dụng cái điệu thức những cái scale ha mình không biết là trong tiếng việt thì dịch ra là gì bởi vì um, cũng có nhiều cái giải nghĩa khác nhau tuy nhiên trong tiếng anh á, thì gọi là scale thì các bạn có thể sử dụng những các bạn có thể sử dụng những cái điệu thức để mà uh, chúng ta improvise Hồi nãy thì Len có nói, Len có lấy ví dụ một cái điều thức về rê trưởng. Rê trưởng. Thì lúc đó Len có nói rằng là cứ chơi theo các nốt ở trong cái điều thức rê trưởng mà không cần theo một cái thứ tự gì cả. Thì ở đây mình có làm một cái ví dụ là nếu các bạn có nghe thì các bạn sẽ nghe thử ha. nó kiểu như là như vậy. Cái đầu tiên là chúng ta sử dụng điều thức. Ok, clan you back. Let's go. Oh, why I cannot bring you to the screen? Okay. Hello, are we there? <laughs> yes. Okay. Still great. here. Good. Okay. So before we lose contact again, I want to say something important about uh, when you're improvising with the scale. There are two ways to think of the scale. One is playing it uh, up and down, and the other is to play it um, skipping. Mm. Skipping. So you're not playing up and down in the scale. No matter where you start with, if you do this kind of movement, It's not very melodic. It creates a um, what we call a, a scalar line. It's mm. so different than skipping the notes. When you skip notes, w then we're playing with uh, more of an arpeggio effect, and it's very melodic. So if you mm. keep that in mind, if you want to be more melodic, then take small or big step, steps in your scale. That's why I'm going up in thirds. I could go in fourths. Oh. Uh-oh. And you mix up the two things. You, go, you can go scalar and then go with more melodic jumps. Okay. So, 
different ways to do. Did you lose your so, camera? So, no, no. I'm okay. Okay, good. So can you so, say again, um, like, uh, the second tip is, you, like, we play the abatures? Yes, you can play going, staying with, uh, moving in a scalar way. That means to stay, don't make any big jumps. You're just playing, uh, going with scale steps. Instead of jumping, making big jumps. Every time I make big jumps, then I get a more melodic, improvised line. Mm. Instead of mm. just going up and down the scale. Uh, I, 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 I'm not understand this concept, Glenn. Can you explain uh -huh. again? Okay, okay. <laughs> so if I'm going to play um, without, without trying to create melodic lines, I would play more just ah, okay, melodic using lines. Okay. scale steps all together. So here I'm going to play ah. not very melodic. I'm just going to play more in a scale concept. And I'm going to use just the notes in the D scale. No others. So I'm going to go... I'm going to play a okay. root note here. Yeah. Is that loud enough? Yeah. Okay. So I'm playing almost mm. all of my movements are just going in the scale as opposed to yeah, okay. melodically, I'll be skipping to different places in the scale. Like this, it's going to be a more mel melodious line. Okay. It creates more of a melodic line. Uh, okay. So what we do just, is just mix keep up going. the two things. I'm just fixing this. Scale step, and then go with melody. Okay. And it's good to be creative. Try to do something, you know, just reach for notes. your hand come to other notes in the scale. And create more melodious effect. Then you can come back to the scale steps anytime. You follow? Okay. Uh, I think I was I, 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 I'm, I was back. lost with the, the Oh, what we the, got a bad the, connection again. The, the, the third hmm. one. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Ah, uh, internet rất là yếu mọi người ơi, cực kỳ yếu luôn. Không biết làm sao bây giờ nó bên chỗ clan đó. Hmm. It's almost good. I see you. Yeah, like like I now it's, it's good. You. But then when 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 you hand it up on the ceiling, like, when I put it over, mm, yeah, and it's yeah. it's broken, broken, not broken. So good. You think it gets bad when I hang it up? Huh? I don't know why. Yeah. Well, let's see. I think it's just the hotel Wi-Fi is so undependable. Hmm, darn. Okay, okay, uh, just... Can you hear me? You hear me okay now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so... I'd like to say, add no, something to this, yeah. Let's, let's, let's I reveal everything. <laughs> okay, okay. Like sure. you share a lot, but then... Okay. Okay. Uh, so the first one, you say that um, the first trick we can do is 
um, uh, yield a scale, right? We yield a note in a scale. Yes. Right? Okay. That's right. And so with that one, do you think about, do, do we concern about the rhythm? Uh, the we, rhythm, it's, it's your, own, your own creation. Yeah, how you feel the rhythm. Uh, I don't know because maybe do we should what should we stick to a specific rhythm something like that or we just play it randomly? Uh, uh, randomly, I think. When you're experimenting like this, I think you have to not try to set a rhythm unless one comes naturally. If you start to feel a rhythm natural, then let it develop rather than mm. trying to set a rhythm and go into that rhythm. Mm. I would say play without rhythm. Just float, float free like you're on the river and don't think about the rhythm. Okay, okay. So this is, I think this is, it will be very creative, but it also be, um, you know, like this advantage for the person who is not good at rhythm. You, you, you got me? You understand? Oh, oh I'm, I'm getting, not getting enough of what you're saying. Let's see. Let me see if I go out here, what happens. I can't hear it. <laughs> I'm going to go closer okay. to the router here to see what happens. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Now, what were you saying? Oh, okay. <laughs> Why you have to go out of the room? I'm standing under the router. <laughs> uh, okay. Hoping the Wi-Fi is strong, I can hear you for a minute. Yeah. But you, okay. So I said that, um, <clears throat> like you said, with the first trick, when we play with uh, with the, the not in a scale with our rhythm, that will yeah. be that 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 will be that will be very creative, right? Yes, very creative. But beside that, that is the disadvantage. Disadvantage for a person who is not good at rhythm. So in that case, mm -hmm. can you suggest like a specific yeah. rhythm for them? Mm. Mm. Well, I think better to go with Let me play without rhythm. Thì, uh, mình có hỏi. Let's just let me Okay. Yeah. Let me let me do without rhythm completely. Um, <coughs> Because you're right, some people don't have a natural feel for the rhythm. That shouldn't stop them at all. Um, sure. Let's see if I've got something here. Yeah. Okay. So I would move slowly. I was going. Chàng ơi, tiếc quá luôn ý. Một cái chủ đề rất là hay như vậy mọi người ơi nhưng mà internet thì lại quá yếu. Plan should I should I post should I post for a while and maybe you could go you, you could go back because internet is too weak. Want me to record something? Uh... Are you there? Okay. Uh, you know, I can record. I can record something for a few minutes, dependably, and send it to you. Would that work better? I don't know. Okay. So, should I pause the video? Uh, say again. What's that? Should I stop the video and maybe you can join again? Uh, we can. You know, I can see the difference. It's it's pretty good when I'm out here in the hallway. The problem but, is, because yeah, I'm under you don't the router. Have <laughs> I don't have the piano. It's a small problem. I can move the piano out here. Maybe really? That would work. I can try. <laughs> okay. Okay. You want to pause for five minutes? Okay, let's pause for five right. minutes. Okay. Be right back. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, mọi người ơi. Uh... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Xin lỗi mọi người rất nhiều bởi vì bây giờ chúng ta 
à, mất rất là nhiều thời gian trong cái việc là à, chỉnh sửa về uh, internet, về đường truyền internet, về uh, uh, thực hiện cái cái live để mà cái livestream mà nó được 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 gọi là uh, tốt hơn thì bên phía internet của bên mình á, thì khá là rõ hiện tại các bạn có thể nghe mình rất là rõ đúng không nhưng mà bên phía của clan á, thì nó lại rất là yếu và uh, chúng ta không có thể nghe ông ấy nói cái gì gọi là rõ ràng hết cho nên là chúng ta sẽ đợi một chút và khi mà lên quay trở lại thì chúng ta sẽ hy vọng lần này internet sẽ tốt hơn và chúng ta sẽ có uh, một cái livestream tốt hơn với nhiều cái nội dung uh, được clan chia sẻ uh, hay hơn và hiệu quả hơn Ok, mọi người đợi một chút nha Mọi người đợi một chút xíu ha Ok chắc là mình sẽ sẽ dừng cái livestream này tại đây rồi sau đó mình sẽ thực hiện lại hy vọng rằng là internet bên clan sẽ tốt hơn ok mọi người mình đã trở lại à, hy vọng chúng ta sẽ có một uh, uh, một cái lượt livestream nó tốt hơn với lại clan Okay. <cười> ok Hello anh Hữu Hy vọng là Lan đã di chuyển qua một chỗ Có internet ổn định hơn <cười> Và buổi livestream ngày hôm nay chúng ta cũng sẽ tiếp tục với chủ đề là improvising ha. <cười> mọi người có câu hỏi gì về chủ đề này thì mọi người cũng đặt câu hỏi ha. <cười> All right. <cười> so Glenn, you think you ready? Okay, I hope we'll have a better connection. Let's invite you to the screen. <coughs> Hello, Yan. Are you there? <laughs> I see okay, you. I'm here. Hi. Okay, let's hope we're better now. Sorry for the interruption. I let's see what happens here. I don't know. Let's see if I can get it's still. In. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay, are we on? <clears throat> yeah, we are. We are on. Good. Okay, very good. So, um, 
<laughs> where were we? Let's see. Okay, we were okay. in. Um, I I asked you about the third trick. As is you you said that we want to make a melody. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and you said that uh, you you mentioned about the apertures. Yes, and about uh, not worrying about rhythm. Mm, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to, I want to give the example of, uh, because I know a lot of people, they're not natural rhythm with rhythm, especially classical players. Mm. They're not. It's a foreign concept. <laughs> so. I would say uh, we're still in the key of D, for instance. And now I'm just going to strike a root note down there. Now this hand is going to move slowly instead of quickly like I was doing. By the way, is my piano the right way or is it upside down? Mm. Is my piano it. upside down or is it okay? <laughs> I think uh, it's okay. I think we understand. We got, we got okay. the idea. Okay, good. So I would say... Um, So you've got your notes in the D scale. Mm. Don't start or stop on D. Okay. Just don't do that for starters. Mm. Forget ever beginning a scale or ending it on D. Just yeah. throw that idea away. You're not going to mm. do that. Okay. Let's say you're going to start the scale from C sharp. Okay, C sharp. And that's your, your grounding point. What do you mean C sharp minor? Uh, oh, no, C, -sharp C sharp major. Note. C sharp, C sharp note. Ah, We're in C the key sharp. Of D. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. So okay, okay. That is that We're is seven. We're in the key of D, but I'm going to start on that note. Yeah. Because it's in the D scale, right? Oh, right, right, right. It's the seventh note of the D scale. One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven. There we yeah. Are. Yeah. And um, okay, so let's say we're going to start and stop our scale on this note. The seventh note. Oh, ah, okay. Okay. On the top and the bottom. Now I'm going to play the D scale here. So mm. now my ears and my sensibilities are hearing something different than if I played the regular D scale. It is a D scale, but it's starting and mm. stopping on the seventh note. So mm. now I'm going to float slowly. Just even forget the left hand. I'm just going to pick notes now. Any notes I want from the D scale. And when I want to come home, I'll go back to C sharp. The ah, of the scale. Okay. And no rhythm at all. As if you're singing, if you were singing in a cathedral, mm. all by yourself, and you're going to go, mm. ah, ha, ha. So just one singing note without rhythm. And so you start to feel <coughs> um, that you're making melodies with this collection of seven notes. But without a tonic. The tonic is now C sharp. Uh, but to, to, the tonic is C sharp, but it in D major scale. Correct, exactly. Okay, yeah. it's it's interesting. So uh, And, let it it is a method. It is a way we can apply to improvising. You uh, yes yes um. And for those of you, for anybody there that understands the concept of modes, it's, this really is a modal idea. The mode mm. of, it's the seventh mode of the D scale. Yeah. The seventh note of any major scale. But rather than think of it that way, it's better just to um, just stay away from the D scale, a uh, major scale, because it's just too bland. It's going to be so conventional, so conservative, so mm. uninteresting as compared to if you start and stop on another note. So mm. I'm choosing the seventh note of the scale, mm. but let me choose the sixth note of the scale. And mm. now... So now it sounds like a B minor. 
Yes, but don't think of it as B minor. Mm. Let's take let's take this one. Five to five. Mm. In D. Mm. That's cool. Yeah, I I I will write that. So, um, it 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 is like we uh, we pick a note in a scale, and mm -hmm. and we will play we play any note in that range, like in that octave. Yes, and beyond the octave, I chose and, from A to A, but you can also go below and go mm. above. But we'll say that that's our center our center point. Okay, and so and and so, how to make it more jazz? How to make it sound more? Oh, more jazz. Jazzy, yes, jazzy. Well, that's something else. Okay, well, without rhythm, um, it's interesting because. <laughs> let Let's I translate for the uh, for Vietnamese. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Thì uh, um, Lan có chia sẻ một chút cho. À, không phải là một chút nhưng mình nghĩ là rất là nhiều Lan có chia sẻ rất là nhiều về một cái cách mà chúng ta có thể uh, sử dụng uh, ứng tấu uh, nếu như mà chúng ta giống như là không có có chắc về cái tiết tấu á, về cái nhịp á thì um, cái mình mình cũng chưa hiểu rằng là cái cái uh, cái ứng tấu này nó cái, cái, cái cách này nó có dễ hơn không thì uh, giống như làm chơi một cái điệu thức á thì nó có từ Ví dụ như là từ re, re đi thì nó sẽ có 8 nốt từ re đến re đúng không? Thì uh, ông có nói rằng là chúng ta có thể lấy một nốt bất kỳ ở trong cái điệu thức đó. Ví dụ như chúng ta lấy uh, nốt bậc 7 uh, đô thăng thì uh, các bạn có thể uh, improvise từ đô thăng cho tới đô thăng cao hơn hoặc là ở ngoài cái cái khoảng của cái đô thăng á. Nhưng mà chúng ta vẫn đang ở trong cái điệu thức là re. Ha? Vẫn đang trong điệu thức là re nhưng mà chúng ta improvise ở trong cái khoảng của đô thăng thì cái 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 cái, cái thủ thuật này nó cũng có thể à, sử dụng ở những cái bậc khác như là các bạn có thể sử dụng ở uh, nãy như thầy có nói là bậc 6 là nút si hoặc là uh, bậc 5 là nút la là chúng ta có thể uh, ứng dụng uh, những cái nốt ở trong cái khoảng của 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 cái nốt đó ví dụ bây giờ nếu như mình lấy mình lấy là rê đi Đi, điệu thức là rê ha thì bây giờ nó như là mình lấy một nốt nó là uh, nốt pha đi bậc ba là pha thăng như mà mình uh, improvise từ pha thăng này cho tới pha thăng ở trên đây hoặc là nó ở ngoài cái quãng này cũng được nhưng mà không có đi quá nhiều hơn ha thì ví dụ nha kiểu như là như vậy hy vọng là các bạn hiểu một chút các bạn có thể nắm được một chút về cái uh, cái id này ok so clan okay. i just uh, make an example example for for um, the audience about uh, about the idea that you talk like we pick a note in a scale and we play in a range and beyond the yes. range of that note like i just yes. play with uh, F sharp. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And play the notes in the D scale. So you could say that's the third, <coughs> third note of the scale, and you're yeah. going to play from three to three. Something that can be very interesting mm -hmm. is, uh, I think, is to play, if you're going to play, pick the third note of the scale, F sharp in this case. Let's strike the note and let it ring while you're playing these other notes from the D major scale. And listen to the sound. No rhythm, just... But if you keep striking that note, the tensions that you respond mm. to in your own sensibilities with music are going to be mm. much different than if you strike the D. This is a very conventional sound now. 
and this right hand's playing anything from the scale. You can play with one finger even. <laughs> sure. But let's go to the F sharp, it's more interesting. It creates the tension that will let your imagination mm. go more than if you're playing this the old classical way. You know, this is going to open up. And now choose a different note. I'm going to choose the second note of the scale. And my tension now is different. Mm. So the idea is to free, free your imagination and free yourself <clears throat> from this, these confines of what we learned when we studied classical music. It doesn't get us very far unless you're going to be uh, really excelling in that genre. But if you want to get freer uh, and let the music speak in, let's say, more of the jazz way mm. or just more of an open concept for improvising. You know, when you talk about this, I think this is a very, this is the, the interesting idea that the teacher can use to teach the student to start to improvise. Yeah. Like they can just play, you know, one one or two notes on left hand with mm -hmm. like maybe in, in F sharp, you just play it. And on the right hand, maybe they just play anything in. In the scale. In the scale of D major, but with the range yeah. of F sharp, like let's yes. I let's I do something like it maybe. Okay, maybe like this. So should I play D? Should I play D? Uh, no, you can play D. Yes, yes, you can. Yes. Like that, yet yeah, I think. Yeah. It depends on my music taste. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Um, you know, I want I want to just mention something to everybody that's looking. That um, mm. I have a video called "The Joy of Scales." Mm. The joy, joy of scales, and uh, it's on my website, and it talks about starting the scales from different places, like I'm doing here. It's a great. It creates a new freedom. You get a freedom for yourself uh, in in your scale concept, so you're not always going. It frees you from that by starting in different locations. Can you send us the link to the video? Yes, you can. You just can put, just put joy, "Joy of Scales" Glenn Rose, and it'll pop on up on YouTube. Joy YouTube, of okay. Glenn okay. Rose. You okay. Can see that. It's a, a short segment from it on YouTube, and the full lessons on my website, ah. jazz.com, of course. All right, I got it. I will share it in the comment. Yeah, good. Joy of scales, uh, Glenn. Rose. Okay, so like, what? how much? Oh, how much? My, you, yeah, put my website on there too, of course, in case somebody mm -hmm. wants to come look at the lessons I have. Yeah. All right, so that is the third tricks, right? Oh, this uh, is the first one. The first one? What's that? Like, uh, we are talking about um, the, um, like, playing with the rhythm. Yeah. Yeah. And to keep yourself interested in this idea, if someone starts to do it, and then after a while they get a little bit feeling uncreative and uninspired. Yeah. Yeah. Playing with the rhythm. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, what did you just say? Then go to another scale. Yeah. Leave D and go to another scale. Same idea. So we'll go to the key of E flat. Mm. And take another note from the E flat scale. Let's say the fourth note. And now that's going to be my center. You are playing uh, e, e flat. 
E flat, E flat major. Okay. E, yeah. Oh, I was saying uh, E, E flat, A B C D E. E flat, yeah. Oh, you're uh, you're doing A flat. We can do yeah. A flat. A no, 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 no. We just just keep going because I I. Oh. Because I saw you playing A flat. I mean. Oh yeah, I took the fourth note from the E flat scale. One, two, yeah. three, four. But I'm yeah. gonna play the E flat scale. Okay. The yes. Fourth note this time. So my improvising is gonna use all of these notes that are in the E flat scale. Mm. I think it's a good idea to hold them down like this, so you can see what they look like without worrying about fingering. You can just see these. And those are the be the selection of notes you're going to work with. Mm. So you don't have to think about, oh, what's my fingering for E flat? You know, what's the correct finger? That you gotta ah. throw that idea away. But okay. No more correct fingering, and that's what I talk about in the joy of scales. Throw the fingering is demolished in that video. You don't think about any of that stuff you learned in classical. Or like the D flat scale. People are afraid of D flat and C sharp. They're, oh, how do I finger it? Mm. Classical way. But in the video, I'll show you, you just don't start on D flat. If you start somewhere else, the fingering's totally freeing. You don't have to use that old fashioned classical fingering. You can just have a, another way to get, uh, play that scale effortlessly. Mm. To All right. Take, take, take a look, then you'll see. Okay, that's in the. Yeah. the Joy of Scale, joy, right? You know. Joy of Scales. And I yeah. choose that title. I choose that title, The Joy of Scales, because when people study classical as a kid and everything, mm. most people, unless they really go on to excel in classical music, they look at scales as something uninteresting, something boring, something really don't want to play it. It's like, I want to play music. Don't make me play a scale. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's boring. I'd want to go play. I don't want to play a scale. But the joy of scales brings the joy back to that. And if, if a student is already knows how to play their scales from the classical training, it can mm -hmm. be a real opening up place. Mm. And they realize that these scales can come alive. And these scales are the tools for all of your improvisation. The scales are the, really the key to improvising. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You've got I... to know all 12 of your scales really well, but not with the old fingering. Ah, all right. Okay. Oh, yeah, let me mention another one while I'm saying it on YouTube again. Mm -hmm. If if you if people look for the major scale game, Glenn mm. Rose, the major scale game, it's going to elaborate on this idea also. The major, major scale. scale. Game. Okay, I'm looking at it. It's on YouTube. Okay, so what is the the major? That is, what is the game? Is that? It's, it talks about starting the scales on different steps. Mm. So the idea here is um, I'm going to take it. I am going to take. Uh, should I use flat or sharp keys? I use flat. Let's say I have a, an F scale. F scale. It's B flat. Gonna, actually, an F note. I want to talk about an F note. Okay. And I'm going to play first an F scale starting from F. You find it on YouTube? Major yeah. scale game, Glen Rose. Yeah. Yeah. So I, idea... uh... Yeah, I just bought it. Okay. Oh, good. So the idea here is I start on F, and I'll start by playing a major scale in F. But mm. now I'm going to start on F, and I'm going to play another scale, another flat scale starting on F. And I can play an A flat scale starting on here. Mm. It's the A flat scale now because you yeah. know F is in the A flat scale. Like that, I just play. Yes. yes. And now let's take another scale, the E flat scale. Yes. And let's take another one, uh, B flat. B flat scale. And here's where it gets nice is we go to G flat. Everybody's terrifying scale is G flat. And it's the same. Sure. Thing. 
What would happen to your hands? I just lie with the own black keys. All the black keys. Yes. Yeah. But it's not the traditional fingering. As soon as you, if you don't start on G flat, you don't have to worry about fingering. The fingering is always going to be the same. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this is for, this is for improvising blend? It's, it's to loosen up your idea about scales because when you're improvising in jazz and the key centers are changing so rapidly, mm. let's say you get four or eight beats, sometimes 12 beats on each scale that you can work with. Let's so say that we have four, four, like four bars of four, four beats. Four, four bars. You can have four bars. That uh, four. Six, four, 16 beats. Yeah. Yeah. Four, eight, 12, 16. That would be like a two five one pattern. You yeah, 16, I like it. Yeah, 16 beats. Um, before I leave this, let me say one more. Uh, this will fit the F. We, we talked about G flat, but how about D flat, dog flat? Another terrifying scale for students. D flat. Yeah, but the fingering is the same. Yeah. G flat. G flat and D flat, you know, because it's really hard for young students when they get the D flat, they're just afraid of it. They don't want to play it. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you can really f fly and float if you get that, because it's easy on the hand. The hand's not fighting. It, it fits the hand that way. Um, okay, keep going. Yeah, okay. So, um, the idea then you asked uh, what, it, what it helps us with, and that's that if we're, changing, uh, if we're changing keys rapidly like we do in jazz, something, often we're just getting four beats, mm. one bar on a, that, uh, where we can use a scale. And we don't want to come to the beginning note of every one of those scales. Like if our key center goes from the key of D, or let's say it goes from the key of F to the key of mm. A flat to the key of mm. E flat. You don't want to be jumping around to the beginning note of each one. You want to be able to start your scales from any note, any time, spontaneously. And it's about practice and getting to that point. So if I'm playing in the key of A flat, oh, I'm on, starting at F, and I'm playing, the key of F, I'm playing an F, and I go to A flat, I have to be able to switch to A flat or D flat now quickly and I'm creating melodies in the middle of it. So on my F, I would be going um, A flat, D flat. And I'm coming back to F every time. I know I'm moving fast there, but the idea <laughs> is I was playing uh, about four beats on every, here's the F. Uh, Then, you are playing what? What chord is that? What chord is that? Oh, I played an F minor. I'm sorry. Let me play an okay. F, F major. I F, you're right. Just using a major chord. Yeah. Now I'm going to go to an A flat. Mm. D flat. D flat. Yeah. And now I'll go to G flat. So the idea is that you want to be able to start your scale from any place, mm. all of your scales, as you switch from chord to chord, like we yeah. do in jazz. It doesn't have to be jazz. It can be any music you're creating. You want to be able to just flow into the next scale without having to think, oh, I got to go back to the first note of that new scale. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, uh, but do we have to stick to a specific Choral correction, like you just play F and A flat and D flat and G flat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do we have to stick to the specific choral correction? Uh, is, this, is it? Is it two? Is it two five one right? No. Uh, no, that was that was not two five one. Two five yeah. one is something else, and that's what we use in jazz a lot. Uh, there we take. <laughs> How uh, about we talk? Let Let's talk a little bit about two five one improvising. Yes, I think so. Yeah, 
Okay, it is the uh, the basic uh, basic starting point for anybody interested in improvising with the jazz concept. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to take this, stay in the key of F here for an example. Uh, so it means to start on the second note of the scale, two. So I'll take the two. That's where we're going to build our first chord is off the two of the yeah. scale. It's G minor, right? G minor. So and so you, you have to understand. Uh, everybody has to understand. It's you know you're building the chords one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a triad. But really in jazz we work with four note chords. So we're ah, that's a F major seven. It's a major and minor yeah. seven. Yeah, and then minor seven again on three, major seven mm. on four, dominant seven on mm. five. Minor seven and six. Mm. Yeah, so we start uh, with a G minor seven chord. Okay, let's adjust like a little bit. Mm -hmm. mm. Thì uh, bây giờ thì mình bắt đầu hỏi thầy về cái uh, ứng tấu cha đó. Thì mình có hỏi uh, đang tụi mình đang nói về chủ đề là ứng tấu trên vòng hai năm một. Thì thầy nói rằng là khi mà sử dụng uh, chơi nhạc cha thì các bạn Uh, nên chơi với cái phần tay họ phần tay trái họ âm á là hợp âm có bốn nốt hợp âm bảy nhưng pha thì cũng là pha trưởng bảy đó rồi sau đó son thứ bảy và tới là tới uh, cứ tiếp tục như vậy các hợp âm các hợp âm rồi là trở thành hợp âm bốn nốt hết ok chúng ta sẽ đi tiếp nha ok just keep going ok so um, uh, this I also have uh, lessons on this on my website about the 251 progression for anybody mm. to have a look there um, so we got our two chord G minor 7 yeah and the 251 now we're going to go to a C7 and yeah. uh, the easiest thing is just to take it here there's our oh, this is C, this is the five chord that's the yeah. five chord and then to the one chord like this major 7 like you play it in like in version right Uh, this one, yeah, root inversion here, one, three, five, seven, F major seven. It's the one chord. So I play G, and C, C seven, and and I play yes. F with the F F inversion, right? Uh, just F uh, first inversion. I mean, root position. Ah, okay, root position. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay. So that's the easiest way to understand it. The two five one, two is a root position, and five is a inversion of C. Mm. C seven would be here. Mm. So, yeah, yeah. So there's our two five one, and I'm playing it my right hand now. Ah, that's why. If I was going to practice improvising, then I would play it in my left hand. Did ah, you so you, oh, okay, so you are playing the call with your, your, your. Uh -huh. Okay, so so which hand is which hand I should play now, like right hand or left hand? Um, uh, I I would say just to get started <coughs> here, play it like this. But it's just for practice. We don't really want to use this much when we're playing our chords, uh, when we're playing songs. We mm. would normally not play the chords in this fashion. We would use a more of a jazz, jazz arrangement of the chord. Of the chord, or just play roots. You could just play two and five and one. And up here, you can do your improvising. And I'm playing an F major scale because it fits the two. The five and the one. So the, for practice, it's okay to play it just like this with a two, five, one. Okay. And then this hand is free to play any notes in the F major scale because we're in the key of F. Yeah. You can go really slow into the five chord. This hand's giving us the sound of the chord. So 
sound very good. It's, it's not very jazzy though when you play it like this. Um, we have to do something else to make it sound like a jazz chord on our left hand. This is okay. really just for intellectual understanding here. Yeah. Uh, we would be better off if we started this G minor in another place. If mm. we started it down here instead of here, rotate it down one inversion and start it here. So it starts on the seventh. So what is the inversion? Did you play G minor there? Uh, rotate Third? it down one inversion so it starts on the F. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And now, when we go to the C7, it would look, could look like that. It's a C7 chord. It's a C7. But, but what I'm going to do is leave the thumb where it was on the G minor 7 chord. Then it's going to sound interesting. This would make it a, a jazz chord. We can put a not, yes. Yes. So the first two chords are G minor 7 and C9. C dominant 7, 9. Yeah. Now it sounds like jazz. And mm -hmm. then the major 7 play like that with the 7 on the bottom also. Mm, okay. Let's yeah. play again. So. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, yeah. Now you have a nice sequence, nice, nice sound for the sequence of two, five, one. So we've, okay. added a nine, we've added a nine to that dominant chord, the dominant seven. But then we, we release the, the root, not the, the first? Uh, that's right. We change the root for the nine. Mm. And we do that a lot. We don't need the root. We can, we can almost always make the root into a nine to make it sound jazz. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So okay, so we have a chord is one, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. One, yeah. Two, ten. It's free to play whatever it wants in the scale of F. Okay. So okay. So but with the um, with the right hand, we know that we know the idea that we can freely play anything. But can you just yeah. <laughs> can you just help us give a a hint for the pattern like the popular pattern we can do with the improvising jazz? Mm, well, it might be this. Let me see. Yeah, that is, that's a good one. The, what I'm doing is a chord outline, and I really um, stress with my students that it's more important to play chord outline than to play scale. Because it's back to mm. this discussion about... Uh, như internet là có vấn đề mọi người ơi <cười> đến những cái phần, phần quan trọng là có vấn đề thì à, nãy giờ nãy giờ tự, à, mình và clan có nói với nhau về một cái vòng hòa âm là hai năm một nhưng mà thay vì cái chỗ mà <cười> năm về mà đề về năm bảy đó thì ông ấy à, thay đổi cái root note là cái cái bậc một đó lên thành chính. Nếu mà các bạn có xem video các bạn sẽ thấy. <cười> okay. Okay, are we here? Are we here? Okay, yeah, we're yeah. still we're still here. Okay. So the idea um we've been we've been back to where we were before. It's that um instead of playing with scale steps 
we play with chord outline. And that is, yeah. we take our G minor seven chord here then. Mm. Yeah. And just play those notes. And then when we go to the C, we go to the C7. And the F major seven. Ah, okay. So we just play the chord with outline of the chord on the right hand. Yes, exactly. Um, let me close my door here. I'll be bothering somebody, maybe. Um, okay, I'll take. Um, so, oh, okay, one second. yeah. So the idea is, uh, if I play uh, down here, mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. a B minor seven chord, one, two, three, four. So I'm using just the outline of the chord. And I'm swinging yeah. the line. I'm making a do da tun da tun da tun that swing feel, but I'm playing just these notes. Yeah. The outline of the chord. And it, that's cool. It's a more melodious very... sound. It's a very. It's. It can be very yes. It can be very yeah. cool sounding. Um, and just the chord outline. You can be very creative with it. Um, I'm just using chord outline, so it's always the notes of a G minor seven chord, always the notes of a C seven chord. And in this hand, I can just play the root. I don't have to worry about a chord really. Mm. Oh, okay, let's I translate. It's, if you play the root because you Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just 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 say what you say. Uh that you don't have to play the chord in your left hand because you're mm. outlining the chord here in your right hand. Because mm. your ear hears all the notes it needs to hear. Because you're mm. defining them with your right hand line. Mm. And so what do I play like with left hand? A root note. Only the root note. Probably just a root note. Mm. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, okay, let's translate a little bit. Thì yes. uh, bây giờ tụi mình đang nói đến một cái cách mà đơn giản các bạn có thể tập luyện cái việc ứng tấu đó là uh, chúng ta chơi cái vòng 2 năm 1 này uh, với cái phần hợp âm mà cứ gọi là cái outline chord như hồi nãy thì nói giống như là cái sườn hợp âm ở bên phần tay phải. Thì uh, um, Glenn có chúng ta đang nói về cái điều thức pha trưởng thì cái sườn hợp âm của nó là 2 năm 1 sẽ là son, son thứ, đô 7 và pha thứ, à pha 7. Thì... Um, các bạn có thể chơi ví dụ như là hồi nãy các bạn có nghe là, là thầy chơi bên phần tay phải ha ví dụ ví dụ mình chơi ví dụ nha là giống như vậy ha Đây là phần tay trái thì chúng ta sẽ chơi cái cái root note à, cái root note và à, Rồi vâng tay phải chúng ta chúng ta sẽ chơi cái uh, cái nốt những cái nốt mà nó nằm ở trong cái hợp âm đó. Okay, Clint. Good. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. I just show some example. Yeah, like. good, good, good. Uh -huh. Yes, I I'm, like I'm, it. Not, I'm not good as you, man. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I like it. Very good. <laughs> okay. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we're in just one key here, but we want to be able to do this in all of our keys. <clears throat> and that makes life, life interesting because every time you move to a new key, uh, mm. always got a fresh sound when you move to a new key. And that's what jazz is doing. And when we look at the standards in jazz, the key center is always changing, which gives us that melodic sound that we hear in jazz. Mm, okay, I see. No. Okay, so do you think that 
a, a, any trick that we could apply to the like any easy trick that we could use for mm -hmm. be, beginning of revising, like try revising. Well, um, you think like do you still have time for us? I I think we have we have been live stream for two hours. Quite a while, actually. I think I my stomach is starting to growl for lunch. I know, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Okay, I think. Yeah. But we can do this again. We can do it another time, of course, anytime. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So before we um, before we stop the live stream today, can you make a record for what you just shared because the the internet interrupts and uh, you mean like, uh, uh, talk, uh, uh, review? You mean review yeah, yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. Review, yeah. yeah. Well, the, the, um, I think we started by talking about with skipping scale steps uh, with, instead of playing scalarly. Life will be more interesting if you skip, skip about the scale instead of playing up and down. Ah, okay. Like and, we just yeah. mm -hmm. skip, skip, the, skip the notes like that? Yes. Okay. To create it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yes, to create nice melodies. And uh, you can start the scale. Don't start it from the root to the root. Start it in mm. another location. Start it from seven to seven or six to six or five to five. Mm. And this really livens up the ear and gets away from the old sound. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the second one. And okay. Yes. And then we talked about the two five one, and uh, all this is. There's a lot said about the two five one on the internet. Of course, there's so many teachers, and I'm one of them. Of course, but we all have a lot to say. So if, if somebody's interested in that, they can always <clears throat> look around that two five one to get that information. Um, yeah. But it's taking build, building a chord from the second note of the scale, and building a chord from the fifth note, and building a chord from the first note. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. yes. I think what you share with us today very useful. And thanks for being here with us. You were very supportive, yes. supportive, and that's my honor to have you here. Thank uh, you, man. very much. I I wish you all the best, and hope yes. you enjoy your time in Phnom Penh. Thank you so much. Until we meet again, I hope it's soon. Yeah, we 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 will meet again soon in Vietnam somewhere. Okay. Okay, goodbye, Glenn. Goodbye. Have, have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Yeah. Okay, cảm ơn các bạn rất nhiều vì đã uh, xem buổi livestream ngày hôm nay. Hy vọng rằng là nội dung livestream ngày hôm nay uh, thực sự hữu ích với các bạn. Uh, đây là hoạt động nằm trong dự án Tech for Pro là một hoạt động dành cho giáo viên piano tại Việt Nam. Cảm ơn các bạn rất nhiều. Hẹn gặp các bạn vào những livestream lần sau. Chào tạm biệt.